Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yana, if you haven't seen my videos before, I do Eurovision reactions and music reactions and music myself. So hello, I myself live in the UK since I was 15, I believe. So I'm familiar and I have heard about Oli. I'm a little bit late in the game just because there's so many videos coming out constantly every day since Thursday and I'm just overwhelmed with all of the stuff. But of course, I would not miss this one. So let's look into who Oli is and a little bit about him. Oliver Alexander Thornton, known as Oli Alexander, is an English singer and actor who is better known for his project Years and Years. I'm pretty sure that some of you have heard his song King, that was a hit, it was over the charts, top 40. Let's look into the meaning of the song and what Dizzy actually stands for or what it means. Overall, Dizzy by Ollie is a dreamy and romantic song that captures the euphoria and intoxication of being in love. Oh, well, that's beautiful. It celebrates the intensity of emotions and the yearning for a connection that feels timeless and boundless. Gosh, the way they're writing this every time, I always check it on Songtel, but the way the words that they use is just so poetic. Like if you want to write some songs and get some ideas of like these incredibly difficult smart words <laughs> then that is the place to check them. Of course we're also going to be looking at the lyrics and the comments. Just a disclaimer here guys, unfortunately I cannot show you the whole video due to the copyright but if you do want to check out the video make sure you go to Eurovision page and support Ollie over there. I already like how the first shot looks. It looks um Really cute. Oh. There's a place where it's a lot faster than I thought. I thought it would be really slow, like so romantic. Cold. Bit of a disco vibe. Right, I don't know if they use the same studio as Dua Lipa, but they literally did the same concept for her training season video where they had the spinning room with like this dizzy kind of vertigo effect. I don't know if they use the same set. It could be the same place, who knows? Okay, we got a bit of a dancing going on. I have to say, I like the verses a lot. Are you guys feeling dizzy? I am. <laughs> Ooh, give me the vocals, Ollie. I like this bit. Ooh, the harmonies are great. It's really beautiful. Yes! Yes! More of that, please! Right. Right, right, right. Well, we're gonna start with the good. <laughs> we're gonna start with the good. I love the production. Like, the instrumental part is really beautiful. I love the sims. I love that it has that UK sound, you know, from back in the day 80s i just i just love that i also really liked the verses i think ollie sounds incredible in the verses just the way the melody flows it's really good and the bridge part over here it's uh definitely like this kind of a drag show inspired like it, you could use this song really well for the shows when the song started i thought it's gonna be slow i thought it's gonna be like a sad song you know but it, it surprised me because it had that floor to kick muted sound just kind of builds up that tension it was building up in the verse the line make me think make it you know what i mean it, it was really nice but then the chorus came. I wasn't 100% there, if that makes sense. It just felt a bit um, too chill. Like, I just felt like I wanted to hear more of his vocals. Like, what he did at the ending when he went into high notes. <laughs> Why didn't we have that at the beginning? The typical songwriting would be that they put that last final high note big harmony at the end right technically they do that but in this particular song it just felt like we already heard that tone so the chorus just felt a little bit 
underwhelming. I do like the song. I don't mind it. I think it's a good song to just kind of listen to on Spotify or just like while you're driving the car or chilling. You know, it, it's a it's a good song if you were to release it just as like part of your album or like a single. But for Eurovision, considering everything that I've seen and all of the songs that I've heard, it just felt like he wasn't showing him all. My cat is crying. Do we want to see the cat? She really wants to say hi. She really wants to say hello. And she's not letting me record the video. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. She said her hello. <laughs> she said hello to people from all around the world. I'm just gonna quickly look at the lyrics. The main lines were, won't you make me dizzy from your kisses? Will you take my hand and spin me round and round until the moment never ends? Make me dizzy from your kisses. Will you make my hand and spin me? Take me back to the beginning again. The, the lyrics are really nice actually. There's the place where we break the line, make it a circle redefined. Beautiful gardens, eternal flowers, you know the way, so take me there. Oh, the lyrics are really beautiful. I mean, he's a great songwriter that's for sure let's go into the comment section and see what you guys think about it <laughs> the first comment i love when eurovision singers sing in their native language yep yep my top favorite this year progressive electronic catchy easy to remember he's great performer too the uk is finally taking eurovision seriously love it love it love it i don't know if i can agree with that one i think it's a good song for sure but I just know how Eurovision is gonna react to this. But who knows, maybe you'll surprise us with the staging. And that could change and flip everything around. The more I listen to the song, the more I love it. I've been a fan of his for many years now and he didn't disappoint with this entry. I'm rooting for you, Oli. I think it's a great song, but just... Ugh, it's just missing that Eurovision, that oomph. You know, first I was a little underwhelmed, but now I just can't get the song out of my head. I'm obsessed. I love this song. I have goosebumps. This is beautiful. Poland and Great Britain have the top songs. You know what? You guys have very positive comments. All of you seem to enjoy it. So maybe I'm in the wrong. Again, this is obviously my reaction is just how I feel because I've been reacting for the last three months, all of the Eurovision videos and stuff. I just kind of know where the audience is going and i guess maybe that's influencing me i just want to see this live and see what he's gonna do and i might be wrong and he might prove me wrong which i hope so i want uk to do good more than anything i want the uk to take the win okay my lovelies that was my reaction and i would love to hear what you think at the end of the day we all have different opinions and you can see that my opinion might not be the same as your opinion and i love ollie's sound i just know what he's capable to do and i and i think he's a great musician so i hope and only wish him to have the most amazing time in eurovision and to enjoy it and experience something that is very different from the mainstream kind of music industry that maybe a lot of us uh, are used to so he'll have a really good experience thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have the most amazing day and yeah lots of love bye